Okay, um, let me check chat, make sure that this recording is working, and I'm also going to... Um, what am I going to? I'm going to move the mail from yesterday so we can open it first. I'll probably find my box. Okay, hang on. Hang on one sec. Um, so let me start here. Uh, I forgot to plug in the mic uh, to charge last night. I've had it charging for a half an hour and it says the battery is full. But if all of a sudden you can't hear me at some point during mailbag, hopefully one of the admins can just switch it to the microphone that's right in front of me. And, uh, you know, there'll be a 30 second gap at least, probably more than that. Um, if that does happen, because they, you know, those things are on a delay uh, by those things. I, I mean the admins, that's how I uh, always refer to them as those things. Uh, no, <laughs> the cameras. Uh, hang on. All right. Did I bring in today's letter? I did. Okay, right there. Good. Okay. So let's wrap up yesterday before we start on today, or I should say, let's wrap up last week uh, before we start on this week. Take these off. I don't need those right now. And let's check to make sure that everything is sounding and looking good. All right. <laughs> well, that part looks good. Okay, people are responding to me making the joke about those things. Uh, no, those things obviously refers to the, you know, the cameras and the parts that run the stream uh, that are on delay. So, all right. Oh, uh, okay, no, that's today's. Uh, let's keep things straight here. So, uh, first off, let's, uh, let's see. There was a letter that we forgot yesterday, and uh, there's the news, of course, that the adoption happened yesterday and went great. And uh, we've already gotten some communication from uh, um, their adopter, from um, Farthing and uh, Dubloon's adopter, uh, after they got home. And they apparently found their way up through the, uh, the vanity in the bathroom and then snuggled up together in one of the vanity drawers. It's very cute. Uh, we got a picture of that on Discord. Um, we haven't had their adopter join us on Discord yet. And that's okay. If it, it may not happen, um, I will kind of, you know, put a little more pressure on them because I'd like to see that happen myself. Uh, it's a really nice way to keep in touch with them. And I feel like there's a there's a thing that, that people may not know um, happens on Discord whenever there is an adoption day. Uh, all the people on the Discord strictly uh, KA channel where we just, you know, talk about Kitten Academy stuff, they just post all of their... Uh, photos and screenshots and gifts and sort of memories of the kittens that are being adopted and it's wonderful and I see it I, I think it's wonderful when I see it because there's so much I don't remember by the time the kittens are graduating about you know all the hilarious things they did when they were little uh, and I know the adopters can't possibly have caught every moment of those things so it's just it's just wonderful that everybody shares like that and uh, um, I feel like the adopters that, that don't get to have that experience uh, along with everybody uh, are missing out on a little something. Nothing drastic. Um, I just got up because I saw a teaspoon sniffing over here, and that always makes me wonder if I'm missing something. But I think I think we're okay. All right, I just wanted to check. A lot of times that's how I'll find a mess that needs to be cleaned up that I didn't know about. So I'll see a couple of the cats sniffing at it. And, uh, all right. So that's the only big news, the adoptions that, uh, that happened yesterday for Farthing and the Balloons. Um, I don't think there's too much else to cover, actually. So let's jump right in. Uh, we'll need a letter opener. Okay. Oh, I haven't gotten a whole lot done since yesterday, but I did sleep, uh, and that was great. That's, that's the thing I needed the most, so maybe I can get back on track today. I also ate a ton of junk food yesterday because uh, that's what happens when you don't have enough sleep. This is so cute. It is a cat that looks uh, eh, 
little grumpy, but somehow he's sitting cross-legged on the floor and drinking coffee. Uh, that's super adorable. It kind of reminds me of somebody. <laughs> All right, I, you probably can't see that when it's that small. I'll try to hold it right up here. I don't know if the camera's focused at this distance, but that's adorable. That's uh, all right, so we also have the uh, Christmas card from the Loomerson's Plumbing Services, LLC. Happy holidays. That's so cute. Wishing a happy holidays to you and your family. Remember to think of Loomerson Plumbing for all your plumbing security and destruction needs. Uh, current special, free security check with all plumbing work through the end of January. Call now to schedule. Love, Chevy and Argie Loomerson. And then there's a handwritten note on here that says, Thinking of all the faculty, staff, and students this holiday. Ah. Thank you, Chris and DJ. Love, Chev and Argie. That is adorable. So there you go. And, uh, back here. Very, very cute. I just, I love, um, uh, there's, there's a few um, adopters that uh, post-adoption have really, uh, I think, done a wonderful job of sort of storytelling and presenting uh, the, the personalities of their kittens on the Discord and, and on, you know, elsewhere, uh, just really cleverly. And uh, I, I, it's, it's great, so. Okay, let's keep rolling, because we got a lot to get through. And uh, I, again, I missed out on doing anything productive yesterday. Oh, you would not believe the laundry that has to be done right now. It seems like every time I get to the bottom of the laundry pile, there's something that causes it to just become a giant pile again. Oh, okay, so I love this. There's uh, First off, I love the, the paper wrap package. That's just fun. And the fact that there was a like a dotted line where I should cut with arrows, also super helpful, because once you do that, it's uh, hard to tell where the seams are on the box. Wow, we even have a knife guard. Okay, and the note right on top. Okay, and the note says... Okay, hi, Mr. A, Dr. DJ, and all at Kitten Academy. Hope you are all well and beginning to enjoy Christmas. Enclosed as a present for my special cat, Teaspoon. Please put under the tree and open it on Christmas Day. Oh, now that's fun. And I do appreciate um, the instruction, too, because... Whenever we get a wrap present during mailbag, I, and it's you know near Christmas time, I have to wonder, okay, am I supposed to unwrap it right now, or am I supposed to put it under the Christmas tree? Hi, buddy. I know I'm sitting in your chair. It's okay, right? So this this was the, um, a bed that we bought for Elsie way back when, and uh, obviously Ari and Elsie were best friends, so he still feels like it's his now. Uh, it's one of his favorite beds, and I, whenever I have it out in the house, it's always the, his place. He always goes and sits on it, no matter where I put it. Most of the time, it lives in DJ's office under the day bed that's in there, and he can get under there and sit on it and has a good time. I, oh, I know. He's annoyed at me, I think. He's annoyed at something. Hi, buddy. What's annoying? What is it? Uh, yeah, most of the time it's in there, but DJ's office has been closed lately, so uh, I put it in here, and it seems like he's enjoying it, except for the fact that I'm on it right now. So, uh, let's see. Um, thank you for all you do at Kitten Academy, especially for all the cats and kittens that need extra care. Teaspoon, buddy. Hey, hey, buddy. Look, this is for you. Oh, he's looking right at me. He makes excellent eye contact. Sometimes a little too good. Like, he looks at you, and you can just tell he's judging you or trying to tell you something. Um, okay, uh, thank you for all you do at Kitten Academy, especially for all the cats and kittens that need extra care. Take care, stay safe. Charlie, aw, oh, thank you. Purrs and meows from Weirdo and Kevin. Charlie, thank you so much for sending this sweet thing uh, for our little teaspoon, for your little teaspoon, I guess. Uh, <laughs> there's going to be a little extra hissing because um, Serenity is out right now and Till is out right now, and that does raise the stress level of everybody a tiny bit. But also, Serenity's primary form of communication is still the hiss. Um, she hasn't quite graduated from that to being friends with everybody, but she gets along okay. Uh, in fact, she really wants everybody to play with her, but she doesn't. I don't think she quite knows how to do it. Till, are you stressed too? Are you? I might have to take a break in a minute and put her away. Um, but let me see if I can get her to. Um, hang on one sec here. Hi. Hi. Oh, meow to you too. I know. Are you just sitting here trying to, to uh, get everybody, huh? All right. I set Teaspoon's present in there. I think she's just hiding around the corner waiting to ambush somebody. 
I mean, we don't need an ambush, do we? Not at all. I know, you are a sweetheart, though. Uh, she was playing and zooming around this morning like a kitten, and uh, Serenity does the same thing. And they both kind of try to get the other cats to chase them, but there's still that tension where they're not that great at, at they're not that great, good at friends yet, so it doesn't always work out as play. Uh, but they do want to, you can tell, especially uh, Serenity, who will like come up to me, and as I start walking to her, she runs away as fast as she can and looking like back over her shoulder, like, come on, are you going to chase me or what? I'm like, I'm not a cat. I'm not going to chase you, especially when you run under the bed. I can't do that. She has no sense of scale, you know? But it's very cute. And I've seen her do that to the other cats, too. And they don't quite, you know, go for it yet, either. Uh, and then if they did, she'd probably be like, why are you chasing me? <laughs> so what are you going to do? Uh, anyway. All right. I think this is another one from... Uh, oh, I need to put this sticker someplace where it's going to... I've got some stickers to clear out of this box still. Um, I think this might also be from Charlie. It certainly has the same uh, sort of M.O., and it's also addressed to Mr. T. Q-Tensils Jansen. Uh, so I'm guessing this is something perhaps also for T. Uh -huh. Oh, now this is cute. I haven't seen this before. Uh, as soon as I opened the indicated spot, by the way, uh, there, were, there were dotted lines on three sides, so I know I would open it and then open the flap, and then it, this is written right here. Wow, oh, now that's that's pretty clever. It says four teaspoons ball pit track. Okay, from Weirdo and Kevin. All right. Um, let's see what that means exactly. Teaspoon still does love playing with. Oh, <laughs> Teaspoon still does love playing with the balls uh, in, in, in the tracks and the towers. That's his favorite thing. I don't know if I've often seen him playing with balls that are, you know, like just loose around the room. He must do. Uh, but mostly he likes to have them like on a confined space. So what you have sent here are a whole bunch of teaspoon colored ping pong balls for us to add to the center of the ball track for him to play with. Uh, and we've got another set somewhere. I, I don't know if we kept track of them, if I put them together away. Uh, she's trying to play with somebody in the little tunnel now, in the the candy cane tunnel. Uh, it looks like uh, Wooly is in there. Uh, so that's so cute to see Tilt be able to play with cats and kittens that aren't, you know, directly related to her. Um, anyway, uh, Charlie, thank you so much for sending these. I've got to figure out what we did with the other ones. I can see one right there. I know we put them out in the little ball track at some point. And I'm hoping that I gathered them all up and put them away together and not just that they've been dispersed around the house. But either way, I'll start keeping an eye out for his specific ones and uh, trying to gather them up so that we can put them all in a ball track where he will play with them since they're a little constrained that way. He's been doing great, by the way. Um, you might notice that more and more often he's been sort of uh, eating the other cat's food and I'm really carefully monitoring him to make sure that it's not causing him any trouble and so far it's not he's doing uh, just fine with it so that's as long as I think it's not his primary diet and he doesn't eat too much of it so I always make sure that he's full of his right his food first and then he can go around and have a little snack on theirs but he's not gonna eat a full meal that way you know also if you've noticed uh, when we feed them the the crunchy food the dry food uh, the dry food that we've been feeding everybody lately is the uh, GI diet that we got for Till. Um, and so that's probably just fine for him to eat, you know, at any point, uh, would be my guess. So, all right, this says fragile. It's, uh, we know which side is up, so I know which side to, to open, and that worked out very well. Here we have a knife guard light. This is somebody who trusts me a little bit more, I think. And, oh, look at that. There's a note right here with a pull tab. These are so great. Uh, so there's a note right on this. It's taped to the side, and it says, pull me out. Uh, M-E-O-W-T, -E pull me out. That's very cute. Oh, oh, there's a cat sitting at a table like a person uh, with a bib on and everything. Very cute. Dear Mr. A and Dr. DJ, I recently remembered you saying something in a mailbag video earlier this year. You were referring to the speed of getting adoption paperwork ready, and it's something I can totally relate with. You had several unopened mailbag packages remaining. You thought you should save them for next week because you still had to get the adoption paperwork and endowment sorted for Puddles, Brawly, and Bud for their adoption the next day. 
You said, I just know how I am. It doesn't really matter when the adoption is. I'd be doing that regardless. It's just how I am. Uh, I really had a good laugh because I'm so like that. For example, I have had the enclosed endowments for a few months, but bagging and tagging and then searching for a suitable size box to mail them in. Well, it's taken months. I mean, uh, I wouldn't want to have them ready too soon now, would I? <laughs> I like that. Yeah, uh, we generally say like... Um, uh, DJ says, I've been overdoing in due time, and we need to come up with something different there. Uh, but yeah, uh, let's see. I, I had a good laugh that day because I too know how I am. My gaming names have always included princess in them, but when it comes to most things, I'm the queen of procrastination. I kind of live life by the seat of my pants, so to speak. Uh, oh, there's a, it says, look up the origination of this phrase. It's interesting. Hmm. Okay, I have no idea where fly by the seat of my pants comes from, but I would imagine, I don't know, I just, for some reason I picture like old tiny, you know, like guys wearing goggles in a biplane, uh, but I still can't put it together like I don't, but it'd be fun to see. Okay, so, well, today we've enclosed our endowment gift bags for the beautiful Till and her precious petty cash. As usual, each bag includes... A kitty cookie cutter for their adooters, a catnip crinkle plushie toy, a rechargeable ball toy, blue for boys, pink for girls, five pom-pom bo balls, one iridescent crinkle ball. All right, so you put off sending these, and now it's my turn. So we, not, this one is, uh, these, these are getting it twice, I guess. This is so cute and well-packaged and fun, though. Oh, so this has the pet gravity ball in it, which is just a, a motorized ball, and it rolls around on its own. And we've got a few of those here, and I've found those are fun, too, because you can put them into most ball tracks. They're about the right size for it. Uh, and then turn them on, and it, it keeps the ball track kind of interesting. You know, it keeps attracting the cat's attention to it, even if it can't. It doesn't, it's not reliable enough to, like, drive around the ball track. You could do that with the remote-controlled ones, but not with the uh, the other ones. So, um, and we have one for Quid. I love it. with the. I just love these little notes that you put on here and the ribbons that have their names on them. Like, all this stuff is amazingly well done. Uh, here's the one for Till. She's still here, so we can make sure that goes the right way for her. And then doubloons and farthings. So I always tell the adopters when they're here. I like, I'm definitely going to have stuff I have to send to you later. It's just how it goes. So, all right, this will be in, the, in that category for some of them. But I really appreciate the fact that you got it to us. And I wasn't quite done reading your note. Uh, you said... Um, Let's see. Last week, the temperatures here in the Salt Lake City Valley were ranging in the high 60s. Yeah, today it's over 50, and we had, um, uh, well, it doesn't matter, but I've got the window cracked in here, and there's some over there to get a little fresh air in. It's nice. You know, it's not warm enough to really have them open all the way, but uh, it's great getting a little bit of fresh air. So, um, the forecast this week has us in the 40s. I love the cooler temperatures, unlike Leo. And although I no longer snow ski, I'm excited because some of the ski resorts have announced their openings. Hoping you and all the KA community had a lovely Thanksgiving day. I'm writing this before the holiday, and at this point, we plan to just chill at home by ourselves and most likely won't go to the trouble of making anything special as far as dinner is concerned. On Saturday, we have a family feast at Leo's dad's place. I, 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 that, 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 that's too much claw. That's too much claw. I know you're trying to play. Um... Chill at home by ourselves most likely won't go to the trouble of making anything special as far as dinner is concerned. On Saturday, we have a family feast at Leo's dad's place with all of the extended family, but not sure if we'll pop in or not. Maybe if they had cats. Uh, hugs from Utah. And that's from uh, Tanya with a J and Leo, of course. And uh, I love all the little um, uh, images that you put on your letter to go along with what I'm reading, especially at the end. This has to be you hugging Leo. Very cute. So uh, thank you for all that. And I know I just made it sound like you were late with this stuff, but I'm realizing it's, it's entirely me uh, because you got this here on time. This is from the mailbag that was already delayed a week. Ugh. Okay, so that's on me, but uh, at least I know you'll be understanding based on your letter. So <laughs> thank you for that. Uh, all right. Ari is taking up his usual position on top of the boxes. He, that's another place he loves to be. So we'll take this one first, and then we'll have to move him. Um, <laughs> and I think we all know who this is from. This is very clearly a B&B &B Sisters box, decorated with the little stickers. 
the geometric arrangement of stickers even. Wow, that was some galloping going on up there. It must be Serenity got up there and is trying to get somebody to chase her. I guess you probably didn't hear it, but there was a bit of galloping. Okay. All right on top, we have the note. And it's clearly labeled. Aw, this is, uh, looks like probably uh, oil painting of a little kitten playing with a Christmas tree ornament. And it says, hello, Mr. A and Dr. DJ. This will be our last box for the year. We went a little overboard with the blankets. There are so many cute ones out there, it's hard to say which one enclosed is our favorite. Enclosed too are the usual toys and food. Thank you for looking after these sweet cats and kittens, the B&B &B sisters, Beatrice and Bernadette. Thank you so much. You know, I, I've told you before, and uh, I don't have any new words for it, but it's, it's wonderful that you've sent so many things um, to take care of the kittens. And I, I do love that um, it's all stuff for the kittens, you know, you don't, you don't, uh, DJ and I always encourage people to send things for the kittens, uh, not so much for DJ and I, you know, we, we can take care of ourselves just fine. <laughs> not that I don't appreciate it. I do appreciate it. Uh, just, uh, we try not to, to get too much of that. So this is beautiful. This is blue and it's got kind of like a stars and uh, he's looking at the moon, I think. This little cute little bluish kitten with the long hair. Uh, and you can see the paws down there at the bottom. Really pretty. Wow. These all have uh, such cool designs on them. It's, it's really neat that we can do this sort of stuff now with textiles, isn't it? You don't always think about how much... Uh, you don't always think about things like, like you know, textiles when you think about the, the march of the progress of technology, like all the, the things, the new things that we can do now that we couldn't do before. Uh, I, I know for me, you know, I'm, whenever I'm talking about that kind of stuff, I think about all the new things computers can do and the AIs and these guys are so cute. Um, and I, I don't, you know, you don't often think about how uh, even the, the more basic things in our lives that have been around forever also improved. So, uh, these two are really cute. And this is, uh, I think, I'm, I can't tell from the back. It looks like this kitten is handing this kitten an upvote in a bowl. Is that what it looks like from the right side, too? <laughs> Here, take this upvote. <laughs> oh, thank you. Uh, I, don't, I don't know if it looks that way from there. But to me, that looks very much like he's handing him an upvote. It's probably a mushroom, right? Uh, I don't know. It's cute. I like thinking it's an upvote. Okay. Wow. Uh, okay, this is a blanket-centric box, as you said. Um, oh, this is cool. Sort of a black and white photograph of two cats at their birthday party with cake. <laughs> That's cute. That's very cute. They're both wearing pajamas or something. This one's wearing pajamas. Oh no, maybe maybe that's more of a. No, I think it is. Hmm. They're very cute. Ari has always loved to play with uh, textiles too, so it's no wonder he's trying to grab these as I'm shaking them out. He used to love uh, like grabbing the the um, the tie on my on my robe when I would wear it around. And getting in the, the like the bed sheets and stuff when you're making the bed. He still likes that stuff. Okay, so let's see. This uh, it looks like a llama, and it says one plastic bottle on it. Uh, this choice saved approximately one plastic bottle from oceans and landfills. Oh, that's cool. I can I think I can hear the bottle inside. <laughs> so he's cute. I like the little legs on him. The kittens are sure to like that. We have a candy cane, whimsily ever after, handmade organic catnip toys. Uh, we have some Christmas tree ornaments. A wildlife rodents with a Z. Uh, catnip inside. Fun toy for your cat. All right, well, that's a bold claim for a cat toy. Uh, this is Boutique. Per picante hot sauce. I like that, the picante hot sauce. Uh, we have a Kong Wubba. It's the little uh, Kong toy for the cats. And look at the tail on this thing. Wow. That's something for a princess right there. And it's a, oh, it's a unicorn too. It's got a little horn going on. 
I, do you want that, huh? Do you like those? Yeah, I bet. You are a princess, Welly. We have a flingin' flamingo. That looks like something that uh, the kittens would play fetch with, like this kitten right here would play fetch with. Do you think if I throw it right now, she'll go get it? Wait, this isn't the fetch. Man, you're the other one. I should be able to tell because you're a little bit a little bit chubbier than your sister, aren't you? And she's got the paws that have the little uh, lighter color on them. Her sister's sitting over there in the hammock looking grim. I just want to see, though. This seems like something that she would go for. She's pretty... She's pretty relaxed. Oh, you're right in the face with it. She's like, whoa, what? <laughs> okay. Well, we'll see. All right. This is a pounce and play pizza with everything on it. Here we've got a little ball with a feather. Was this going to keep you busy if I throw this, buddy? Here. Oh, oh. oh she, she got up to fetch that one. Maybe I shouldn't have thrown that at her. I just should have thrown it across the room. All right, hot dog, uh, Chicago style? No, there's ketchup on this. Oh no, are we gonna start a debate about whether ketchup belongs on a hot dog? <sighs> uh, well, I'll tell you which side I come down on. Um, mustard for life, man. Um, okay, this is Pounce and Play. I guess that's all it says. It's a very cute idea for a kicker though, isn't it? It's like a perfect shape for a kicker. And uh, the... Uh, the ketchup goes right off the end. Like, they really doubled down on this uh, ketchup idea on a hot dog. And I don't see any sport peppers. They probably didn't even use celery salt. What are you supposed to do with that? Okay. Oh, okay. These are going to come right out of here. We've got little Charlie balls. Oh, perfect. We have a guitar. Oh, this will go great with the um, all the cat toys that we have around that are musicians. Somewhere we have, like, uh, David Bowie and Prince... Um, I keep seeing uh, one of them around. Uh, okay, let's see. Uh, this is a Merry Makings cat toy by Petco, and it is a Mylar ball that has a snowman head. Now, that's a fun combination of cat toys. Oh, it looks so cute with that in his mouth. He's going to take that Charlie ball away someplace safe. His prize, he just galloped out of the room holding it. Wildlife rodents again with a Z. This one's a flying squirrel. Oh, that's super cool. Flying squirrels are awesome. Uh, this is one that says, I'm sweet on a uh, lollipop, I guess. I'm trying to see what word they used for it. Lollipop is such a weird word. But you can't call it a sucker. Like, that. that's weird, too. That's weirder. Oh, we have another one of these in a different color. We have three mice with uh, all the same fuzz but three different kinds of tails. We have a feather, little leather straps, and uh, just the same material that the mouse is made out of. Interesting. This guy's got three tails. Wow. Okay, uh, keep rolling. We have, this is Mylar Balls, but there's also feathers in it. Are the feathers attached to anything? Now I have to know. I gotta know what's up with the feathers in here. Are they just some loose, oh. So, I guess this is the new thing, then. We're combining Mylar balls with other stuff. This is a Mylar ball with a tail on it. That is a completely new thing to me. I think they're going to like those a lot. That makes the regular one just a little more fun. Wow, those are special. This is... Oh, oh, a little rattle mice. Always a winner. Perfect for a princess. I keep calling her the princess anyway, because... She's a little calmer than her sister who likes to run around and, um, you know, carry her toys around and play fetch. So, all right, here we go. A third one of these long feathers. Oh, this is a beautiful peacock. I think, I think you've sent this one before. It's so lovely. With the, especially, I like the, the little crest, too. It's got three separate little things, just like a peacock. Beautiful. Okay. Uh, we've got a, a mouse with the weird textured stuff on it. We have a box of, well, a box of kitten toys, but I wonder which kitten toys they are. Let's find out. Ooh, these look like rattle mice also, but these are the, the uh, party colored. Party color? Wow, where am I from? Uh, Two-tone? I don't know what you call it then. Okay, there we go. We have canvas catnip toys hmm well it's not super specific though is it soft catnip canvas 
Good. Well, I don't have to guess what they're made out of, but let's see what's in here. Oh, oh I see. Oh, these look like these would last a while. We've got uh, uh, this cute fox that's kind of got like, a, again, the Native American thing going on. And, uh, oh, a fish. These are made out of canvas. Like, they seem super sturdy. And kind of a mixed bag box, I mean. Uh, here we have a really cute owl. Oh, oh, there we go. Really cute owl. Uh, another fish. Oh, ow, and this lion. Oh my gosh, this guy's the winner. Look how cool he is. Uh, those are some great colors on that too. Seems like sort of a sort of an African pattern, I would guess. Not that I know anything about any culture, even my own. Uh, very cool. All right, these are all awesome. Canvas catnip toys. That's a that's a great set of toys. Put them back in here for the moment. And I think now we've returned to the blanket portion of the show. What do we got here? Hi, Till. Yeah, what are you doing? Okay. What are these cats doing? Oh. Oh, cats making a snowman. It really looks like a Norman Rockwell, doesn't it? It's kind of got that color to it. And Oh, whoever did it, there's a signature in the bottom, but you can't quite make it out on this. Still very cute. And is this a, a kitten in the middle? What is this? Here we go. Let's see this. It looks like a little puppy. Like the cats have a pet dog. That's got to be what that is. That's, that's. I didn't think that could be it, but it certainly seems like uh, this. Maybe this is a parody of like a specific Norman Rockwell. I know he's done lots of Christmas stuff, but I can't. I can't picture this one specifically. And that's why the dog is there. Or maybe these cats just, you know, they have a dog. Why wouldn't they? They're uh, anthropomorphic cats. They can have dogs. It'd be really weird if they had a cat. Like, this is a real, like, uh, ow, ooh, ow, ooh, goofy versus Pluto situation, right? What was that, Till? Thought she would play with the back of my shirt. Okay, I know. Oh, in the bottom we have Nulo. All right, that's perfect. I'll leave those there for the moment. And this is the final blanket then. Oh, that's very pretty too. It has that same sort of, uh, you know, like classic art feel. It's just, uh, it's, it looks like three kittens. I don't know if they're doing anything, but this one's wearing a bow. <laughs> Artie's trying to help. He does love this stuff, huh? Buddy, what do you want me to do with it though? I kind of need you to get off of that for a minute. Would you come down here and chase this blanket? If I make it tempting? There's a little chip of tissue paper over there that blew when I moved the blanket. I think that's what got his attention. Okay, uh, B&B sisters, thank you so much. These are wonderful. The blankets are great. Are these toys, you always send the most unique toys. I'm glad I got a chance to bring up the entire uh, Chicago-style hot dog debate. Uh, it's good to be able to have a debate about hot dogs without getting into whether or not they qualify as a sandwich. See, I had to say that now, right? Okay, so let's put these back in here, uh, and we'll put your stuff back in here too. Um, probably not as nicely, and that'll be great. For, oh, I'm sorry, Till. I just poked you on the nose. I did not mean to boop you on the nose like that. Oh, 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 what do you want? You want some pizza? You want me to take that off of the, off of the packaging for you? She's so cute when she's standing up. This wasn't in your box, was it? This just came from somewhere else in the room. This also looks like something that our little hunter would want to chase around. Oh, she's in the bear. All right. Okay, put that over there. This over here. Good, good, good. All right, I got to keep this rolling if we are going to get through all the mail today, right? I got to keep rolling. So, put that right over here. That toy over there looks like a hamburger. They've got so many fun toys, I don't even remember them all. <laughs> Let's see here. I know I probably already got my knife out. There it is. Okay, and this, she just left there. Not interesting anymore once it's not moving, huh? Well, uh, 
uh, Kitten Academy, care of Callie's moms. Oh, Callie's moms. Thank you so much. Uh, let's see if there is a note. This is Mr. A and DJ. Thanks for all you do for the faculty, students, and whole KA community. The burger in me is a little mortified, but I couldn't resist the cuteness. Apologies in advance. It attaches to wand. As always, use as you see fit. From Callie's moms. All right, well... What is it? Oh, a flapping owl cat toy? Oh, oh, this is cute. This is so cute. We have one that's like this that's a duck, that's a flapping duck that I think is the same mechanism, and the cats like it. It also quacks. Uh, oh, and there's the cutest illustration on the side of an owl sitting on a branch and the cat looking at it with wide eyes thinking, I want to have it. I don't know if you can see that. It's very cute. So I just want to take a look at this. Oh, this is uh, this is much uh, fancier, I think, than the uh, the duck that we have, though. Look how pretty he is. You think he's got any charge in him right now? You think he makes a noise? Let's find out. Oh, why you got <laughs> the flap? Is uh, it's right? It's right under this tail is where the flap is that you open. <laughs> All right. Here. So there are uh, two of those. This one is a chirping sandpiper, and we don't have to turn them both on, but I do want to see how cute he is, too. He must be really cute. So I see uh, what you meant about um, the birder in you. Yes. Oh, he's so cute. He's even got these little legs that are all, like, splayed out here. And he's got an actual feather for a tail. Oh, I always like sandpipers. I don't know if I've ever seen one in real life. Uh, but they're they're cute little birds. Okay. Cute. Yeah, you know, whatever. They're fun. She's going to play with that for a minute. All right, we'll put it away when we can, or, uh, or we know what not. And then you also sent a beautiful blanket. Oh, waterproof pet blanket. Oh, this is great. We're always looking... Uh, well, I shouldn't say that, because we, we probably don't need a, a lot more now. But uh, waterproof blankets come in so useful around here. Um, and this one is very pretty. DJ is always on the look for one that feels soft, doesn't feel like a like a waterproof blanket. Some of them are crinkly in a bad way, and some of them have like a strong rubber backing and work great, but don't really seem like a blanket you want to snuggle up in. This one looks very plush and soft, and it's got a nice attractive pattern for us to use that we could just put anywhere. Uh, that's great. That's so great. I want to make sure it goes upstairs instead of going with everything else. So uh, DJ can, you know, uh, decide if we need to put it someplace right away. Well, thank you so much, Callie's Mobs. That was fantastic. <laughs> Good luck. She really wants to wreck that thing. Wow, I like that. Maybe that just stays out for her then. Let's see. I probably shouldn't leave this box, like, open at any point. I hate it if cats started pulling stuff out of there. Okay. This is simply addressed to Kitten Academy. So we'll see if there's a note. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. This looks like some cool stuff. Uh, this, is, this is really cool. It says Triangular Cat Cave House, color gray. Uh, and it is, like, if you just picture an extruded triangle that's open on both ends, uh, that appears to be... Here, I'll just show you the picture so we don't have to... Oh, I'm sorry. Here, try this right here. I wanted to show this to you guys, and she's like, why are you putting... Hey, 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 hey! Why are you putting a box over me? So, that looks super cute. Um, we'll open it when we get to put it together, I think. Let me see. There's a note here somewhere. I just see this now that we've got the box out. Aww! Oh, oh, this is a, a continuation from something we saw yesterday. Merry Christmas to all at Kitten Academy from Secret Santa on behalf of Taco Kitty. All right, Secret Santa, thank you so much. Uh, and uh, there's also, that was said one of three, and this is the same note. Merry Christmas to all at Kitten Academy from Secret Santa on behalf of Taco Kitty, two of three. So yesterday we had three of three, and now this, uh, this really finishes the series. Okay, this one we're going to have to open because there's nothing on the outside to describe it unless uh, it just says made in China. So that doesn't, uh, unless, 
I don't know, put China in here? This box is not big enough. Okay. Oh, it's a marshmallow bed. Oh, and it's a really pretty one. Oh, it's not just a marshmallow bed. It's a marshmallow pod. Wait a minute. It goes deeper. It's a monster marshmallow pod. I think it is a monster. Oh my gosh, that is so cool. And this is the pad that goes inside like a tongue. In fact, I think it's even got a shape to it that's not perfectly round. Which end is longer, this end? No, that end. Yeah, let's try that. Okay, this way. Oh, he's so cute. Oh, DJ's going to love this, I think. The kittens are going to love it, too. So, it's a, it's a, I don't know if I've seen a pod before made of the marshmallow bed material on the outside. He's got these goofy eyes. He's got these arms that, like, stick out. Ah, and he looks like he's screaming. And then the pillow inside is the marshmallow bed material and red like a tongue. Here, we'll even stick it out just a little bit. Ah, okay. <laughs> it's obviously attractive to kittens. All right. We'll just go with that for now. That is so cool. Well, thank you to uh, Taco Kitty and Taco Kitty's Secret Santa. That's fantastic. And it was it's very generous of you to, you know, sign up for the Secret Santa on our Discord. Hang on. Very crinkly. Uh, and then to, to sort of say, yeah, well, I don't want anything, though. Send some stuff to the kittens at Kitten Academy is, is very nice of you. Okay. Let's see. I'm going to take, uh, now that we've finished with one, I'm going to take just a, a moment's pause, open this, and also make sure that we're still doing everything okay on the Discord. I bet this is, I bet this looks really great. Let's just see what the material on it looks like. We've got a collection of stuff that I was going to bring out and put in um, uh, our new mom cat's, Callie's room, that's all sort of modern, like this probably, Liz. Oh, that's really pretty. There we go. So you can see it's the, the wood is like this and it goes all the way around the triangle. It's in various pieces and then the canvas part is this. So then maybe this is a slightly bigger picture that you can get the idea of right here for this maybe. Very cool. I'm not going to put it together right now. Um, but I do think that that's going to look wonderful here and go really well with some of the, the sort of... Um, like I said, I was going to put all that stuff in the annex on, based just on the idea that that's where we've got that bench that's also semi-modern, you know, like something you'd see at Ikea, I guess, maybe. So uh, that would probably go really well with those things. Are you just... She's purring in there. Oh, my goodness. It's great, huh? Okay. Let me just check here. Now, where's my phone so I can make sure that we are... All right, here we go. Just, uh, I see pictures of this now in screenshots. Okay. Yeah, Sprouts a duder is Monster Pod. Yeah, well, the monster has a duded Sprout so far. Very cute. Oh, uh, Callie's mom says it's the best, softest, waterproof blanket that, that they've found. Uh, she's found, I guess. So, uh, Great. It does look great. It looks to me like a regular blanket. I would not have guessed it was waterproof until I saw the word, which is exactly what you want, right? i got to turn this. I hope he stays here. Ari is in here and chewing on the cardboard and stuff. He's being a real kitten today. Hi, buddy. And his, his face is such an Ari face. If he's going to look up again. I don't know if that's on the camera yet. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. Moving right along then. I guess we'll just start with what I can reach. Now, let's get the letters. And I know there's, there's one more that I think, well, in due time. All right. So, here we are now on Mailbag that's merely a day late. Sorry, that's so cute. I got to take a picture of that, too. Buddy, you have your paws on that. That's adorable. Okay. Oh. Hi. <laughs> he looks like he's doing like the hey neighbor thing over the fence right now with his paws like that. Oh. 
It's okay. It's okay. He's not going to attack you. I've never seen Ari uh, instigate anything with anybody. Aw, all right. Well, this is a gnome uh, who seems to be taking a walk with his reindeer, and the reindeer has a uh, like a, a bag on that has obvious little Christmas presents in it. So that's adorable. And it says, Dear Mr. A and Dr. DJ, thank you for all you do for cats and humans. If I lived in the U.S., I would definitely adopt some K.A. cats. Alas, I'm over here in Europe waiting for better health and economics to maybe take on a local kitty someday. Cuddles from me to all K.A. cats. All right, well, that's one that includes you, Ari. I wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Hugs and purrs from Norway Cat Fan. Ah, uh, good, good Yule means Merry Christmas in Norwegian. All right, I'm going to go with that. I do know it means uh, Merry Christmas, but I don't know how I'm meant to pronounce it. <laughs> so uh, thank you. That's a very sweet card. And I know what you mean about, uh, I, I appreciate what you said about, about being ready to adopt. It's, it's definitely good to know what your limitations are and to not adopt cats before you're ready for it. <laughs> this is a very chunky cat on the front of this and uh, a background of mac and cheese. And the cat is saying, I took one of these, those DNA tests and found out I'm 27% cheese. So <laughs> that's cute. It says, Mr. A, when I spotted this card with Professor Custard's uh, on it, Professor Custard's Tom on it, I knew it would be perfect for you. Uh, <laughs> the card says, you can't buy happiness, but you can buy cheese, and that's pretty darn close. Uh, happy belated birthday. For the record, the envelope encircles the cheese. Oh, <laughs> that's cute. Discorders get it. Uh, please give Professor Ari lots of pets for me. Oh, buddy, you're winning out today. And... I tell all the cats and kittens, I said, I think that's what that is. Also, if you post a photo of this card to Discord, don't forget to tag Jamestown, of course. Uh, Ubinam Rosarium. All right, I tried. Uh, you spelled it out for me in a way that I could try, so thank you for that. That is super cute. Now we have one that has uh, little Christmas um, snowflakes, I guess. Uh, they're pretty abstract, and it's sealed with a moth, a uh, photo of a, a giant moth. It's pretty. Here, we, we have four or five kittens in stockings uh, hung over the fireplace, one of them uh, the wrong way around. it. That's pretty cute. Oh, more stickers. Wow. Mr. A, I saw these unusual stickers of big cats and thought of you. Enjoy them. M. Hobbit. Oh, may the holidays be filled, filled with your favorite things, kittens. Merry Christmas. Thank you, M. Hobbit. Let's see. Oh, wow. This is uh, a tiger with uh, antlers on. That's an interesting mashup. I like it. Sort of a, a crypt orchid. Oh, wow. It's from at Maggie.inks. Hmm. Uh, oh, this is also one in a moth now. It looks like a... Is this a I can't tell from the shape. I'm not going to guess, but it's got some kind of a swallowtail. So, um, there you go. Big old moth. Uh, this one is a leopard in among flowers. I, I'm not going to try to guess what kind. There we go. And, oh, a business card. Oh, I see. This is the artist. This is really, really good art. Um, I don't necessarily know what they're all trying to say. It seems like there's got to be some background behind these combinations, right? So the, the artist is uh, Maggie Scotilla at Maggie.inks or www.maggiescotilla. It's M-A-G-G-I-E-S-C-O-T-I-L-L-A. And this also has some really cool skulls and a uh, squid. It's awesome. Wow on the business card. Those are very cool. I'm going to put these right here to add to my collection. The the um, little um, um, duck, uh, chick, chick, I guess it's a chick. It's not a duck. I, maybe I called it a duck before. I don't know. It looks like a little chicken chick uh, that we have that does that is also uh, often frequently loud and very annoying. So, so it's a great toy for cats, isn't it? Okay. Moving right along. 
Foot loose and fancy free. Ready for the big time? Is it ready for me? Someday I'm going to release a William Shatner style album of songs done like deep poetry. Uh, something you just got to say, not today. And a cat knocking a. a... Hey, 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 hey. Hey! We don't need that. Sorry, that was probably loud in the mic. They're trying to play, they just can't figure it out. Maybe I'll take a break in a minute and put them away, though. Oh, this is very pretty. This is uh, some cross-stitch of some cats on a Christmas tree, uh, <laughs> including one all the way at the top, and they're just, they're all over it. Let me see if I can open this up. I think there might be a note in here, but I don't want to cut the cross-stitch. It's very nice. Uh, so let's be careful here. Uh, here, you can see this side of it while I try to get through this tape without accidentally... Okay, one down, one to go. I think we got it. Okay. Well, there isn't a note. Uh, it's just, it's backed. It's, it's very nice. It's like a... Uh, back with cardboard cross stitch. It's little kittens all in a Christmas tree. It's very pretty. Let me see. Is there any clue here? Uh, did I miss a note? Nothing there. And on the outside, there is also, wow, not even a, oh wait, there is a return. Oh, is there, maybe I missed something in here. Hang on. I guess, uh, Oh my goodness, that's all serenity. She's really earning her nickname, uh, name, I mean. Uh, let's see, maybe I can peek at the return address and get a clue. Well, there's only one clue, uh, CJ. So uh, CJ, thank you very much for this. Okay, well, uh, you don't take much credit for it, but that's great work and I love the way you backed it when this is also a fabric here, so it's nice to touch. It's, a, it's very pretty. We'll put that someplace nice. Here, you can hold this for me, buddy. Just hang on to that for a sec. Oh, he's not really going to do it. There we go. I guess the kitten's not in there. That moved a little too easy. There we go. Hi. What are you looking for, huh? What are you... Oh, yeah, I bet you want breakfast because you didn't want to eat yours because you thought you could hold out for some of the faculty food. But then you went out of the room and there wasn't any. So you probably want second breakfast right now, don't you? We'll get that for you in due time. Okay, next up. Thank you very much to whomever for the, the cross stitch. Maybe you've messaged me on Discord. I, I will make a point to check for that. Um, I do have a lot of messages pending most of the time. So, all right, this is addressed to Kitten Academy. Hopefully, there will be a note. It looks like blanket blankets. Oh. Um, mm -hmm. Oh, there it is. Welcome to KA, Callie. Here's some blankets to help keep you and your babies warm. Thank you, Mr. A and Dr. DJ, for everything you do. From Heather. All right, Heather, thank you very much. These look like very Christmassy. Oh, very Christmassy receiving blankets. Look at that. That's a big package, too. So we have one with little woodland creatures in the forest with Christmas presents and Christmas tree ornaments. And then we've got a couple of abstract patterns and, uh, oh, I think that's the same, same one again there. These are great for Christmas and they're very bold. They're going to look wonderful on camera and I bet DJ will want to use them right away. We'll see. I'll put them right over there with the stuff I'm taking upstairs immediately. Uh, Heather, thank you. Okay. Ari. Okay. I'll start this one then. What is this? This is tiny. Oh, uh, this is from Mishi. Oh, this is so cute inside. Well, this is dropship, so it's got to be the merchant that did this. Uh, but look how cute this is when you open it. It says, thank you, here. And it's got this beautiful card in it that's all, like, wrapped. And it's got a, an actual, like, little craft sunflower. And, uh, oh, and a ribbon that says, especially for you. Wow, that is just beautiful. Oh, and the little clasp that holds this all shut is like the shape of a heart. I'm trying to not to mess this up too much because it's so pretty. 
So it's an Etsy seller. Wow, what packaging. Aw, and it says, To Serenity, a cat I always, always call Lavender for some reason. I don't know why. From Mishi60. Aw, thank you, Mishi60. And the actual item in here appears to be a collar from, let's see, from the merchant is Apollo of the Stars, www.apolloofthestars.com. Hmm. Made just for your best friend. So custom made collars, apparently. And look how pretty this is. It's got uh, a fabric it's made out of that has like um, tattoos on it, I think, because there's a little heart shaped one that says mom with a ribbon and some arrows through it. Uh, I guess they're, well, they may not all be tattoos. There's one that's got a diamond uh, that's glinting and says spoilt on it. There's a three of spades. There's a kitty face. Uh, it's very busy and wonderful. There's plenty to look at there. Little crescent moons. That's beautiful. And uh, it's got a little bell on it. It's got a perfect clasp for a kitten uh, or a cat with the emergency release on it. And... Uh, perhaps most interesting of all is instead of just being sort of glued, it's riveted. Uh, so that's uh, that's something that's going to last a long time, I bet. Wow, three little rivets, four if you count the one on the other end. Uh, so that's uh, that's a great one, and this is this is expanded all the way, so it probably gets to be like a perfect size for her, which I'm guessing it's probably a little smaller, like this maybe. That's that's wonderful. So that's a perfect size for a cat too. Um, wow, I'm going to write her name on the outside of this and put it this way so that whoever eventually adopts Serenity uh, can see the whole package the way it was and have that same experience because it's very cute. Let's see here. Serenity still is looking for an adopter, and I've been trying to get her to be buddy-buddy with Till uh, in the hopes that they could even be uh, maybe mom cats that, you know, that end up going together. I... It's going about as well as I could possibly ask, which is not well enough yet. <laughs> but, uh, you know, we'll keep working on it. I didn't even know you were right here behind me, Till. I'm looking for a pen so I can label this. There we go. Big old Sharpie. Okay, so this is Serenity from Mishi60. I tried to write it slightly more legible than usual. Um, I'll put that with it up so that I can see that. Okay. Wow, uh, Mishi60, thank you. That's beautiful. Well, this says kind on it. So, right. I think it is a recycled box. I actually had half of a kind, uh, like a granola bar. It's not granola, but you know. That's what I had for breakfast. Kind, the same brand. Okay, here we've unpacked a little bit, and we've come to the first layer of our archaeological dig in the box, and we've reached the note. Okay, to read on stream. Perfect. Okay, so obviously someone who's seen how we do. Aw. Dear Mr. A and Dr. DJ, December greetings and Merry Christmas to all. Congratulations on the arrival of your new mom cat to be, Callie. She looks like a real sweetheart. She makes me think of my own cat from years ago who was also named Callie and had a short tail. Wow. And is also a calico. So um, this is the picture of her, if you can see that. Okay. Um, she was so friendly, even with strangers, that I often called her my hostess cat. She also liked to take naps together and would sometimes lay right on top of me, all this without specialized kitten academy training. Thank you so much for all the hard work you do to take care of the cats and kittens at the academy. Your love for the animals shows. And special thanks to Busy Cat and all the other techno wizards who are making the photo compilations and clips. Yes, Busy Cat's YouTube is still wonderful. Um, uh, also, uh, Ruby Moon is another one I can think of off the top of my head that's always great. Uh, as much as I would want, would like to watch the live stream all day, it's just not possible, so it's very convenient to go back and watch the highlights. Yes, there's things uh, frequently that I missed out on seeing, too. You know, even though I always have the stream on at least one TV around here, usually all of them. 
and I'm here in person to see things as they happen, I still miss plenty. So, you know, there's just no way that everybody could see everything. And it's great to have, I, I love it the same way you do. So in appreciation, I've enclosed a few toys for the cats and kittens to enjoy. Use as you see fit. And also enclosed is some locally roasted coffee and a small figurine for DJ to add to her collection. The figurine is from the Wade collection that used to be included as a premium with red rose tea. I really enjoy watching Mailbag and often purchase items that other people send in to Mailbag. My cats, Stu and Artie, don't always appreciate what I get for them. <laughs> Uh, however, the pineapple bed that I got a few months ago was a big hit. They've taken turns using it. Oh, that's the same Squishmallow pineapple bed that we have. And I can see him in it, and I know it's it from the picture. Stu is in the bed, already showing off his belly. Thanks again for all that you do and all your good humor. From Dorothy A. on Discord. Dorothy A., thank you. And uh, here is Stu in the pineapple bed and already showing off his belly. The pineapple bed, uh, as you may recall, it got peed in here, and I put it through the wash because uh, I say for stuff like that, if it gets peed in and it, and it doesn't make it through the wash, it wasn't meant to be here in the first place. It survived the wash, but I would not recommend doing that with yours. That It's got like this really solid plastic bottom, and uh, I think it kind of messed that up a little bit, but it still looks great. It's perfectly usable for us this time. Uh, I just don't think it would survive very many washings because of that plastic on the bottom that makes it so sturdy, which is nice. Um, anyway, it's not like I threw it out or anything. It is in the uh, annex closet waiting to be deployed at the proper time, and it's, it's a pretty nice bed. I would say overall, except for the difficulty of uh, washing it. So Dorothy has sent, oh, Whole Bean Silver Bridge Coffee Company Medium Roast Southern Pecan. Wow, that sounds really good. It says pecan, or do you say pecan? Because I'm from a place where we say pecan, and I know that's not right. Uh, um, but that's how uh, I grew up learning to pronounce that word. Uh, so pecan pie flavored. Wow. And I do enjoy a pecan pie once in a great while. Um, I mean, I enjoy them anytime, but I can't eat them very often. <laughs> They're just all sugar and nuts. Like, that's all that's in there, uh, uh, which is... Fantastic, don't get me wrong. So uh, to be able to have that same flavor in a coffee is gonna be pretty nice. I'm excited to try it out. And, ooh, we have a space set. Uh, this astronaut and a cat in a, a pod. I love the silhouette of the cat looking out from the little space uh, ship. And I love the fact that the rocket is not just a flat object. It's, it's round and has uh, evenly spaced three little landing fins. Uh, so that's cool, and a silver top to match our little astronaut in his helmet. He's got kind of a Ziggy Stardust thing going on there. Uh, floppy legs and moon boots, and he's got bells on his hands. Um, and is a cat, of course. That is such a cool thing. Vibrant Life Space Cat Cat Toy. Uh, that is, I love it. That is, that is a really nice space toy. This is, oh, a gnome. He's adorable. He's got a gnome hat on and a nose, and then the rest of him is just beard and feet. <laughs> so that's super cute. You like that, too, huh? You just like all the toys. Such a little kitten. Oh, this must be the thing for DJ. Let's see. Wow, and a nice box. Oh, I think DJ does not have this one, but it looks so familiar. I think people have sent some of these, including... I immediately place it from the way that this is shaped and the bottom of it is matching the tricorn hat that I was given when we first moved in here and is in our collection of nice things. So that must be another one from the Red Rose Tea set, like you were saying, I think. This one also says Made in England. And this is actually two cats. The one cat is hugging the other. And there's the detail of the cat uh, also hugging in the back. The other arm is there in the back. So, oh, wait. Yeah, no, that's the, yeah, it's the other cat. Mm -hmm. Same cat. I thought maybe it's the other cat, but no. Okay. All right. That's super cute. DJ's going to like that. And uh, it matches now. Um, the Like I said, at least the, I think there, there might be some other cats or things that we also have from that collection. But the thing I can immediately think of is that, that little tricorn hat. It's not even on anything. It's just the hat. So, you know, like a New England-y thing, I guess. Uh, okay, this is a Meyer brand sardines. One is a sardine and one is the can of sardines. 
Very shiny. Yeah. Oh, okay, Till. Well, you got to check all the toys then, don't you? All right. Oh, no, you set off the owl again. This is uh, pineapple napkins, I think. I think these are... Oh, are these napkins? Yes, they're napkins. No? Oh, that was my Coke. I'm like, why is that sound like sand? It's not sand. It's fizzing. Okay, well, that's fine. Let me grab a towel real quick and fix that. Um, these are doilies? Are they pineapple doilies? That's, that's what I would use this as, right? That's what I think anyway. It's a whole pack of them. Hang on now. Let me go get a towel real quick and just clean that up before it's entirely in the rug. This is uh, reminding me that I have to bring down all the freshly clean kitchen towels from upstairs because uh, we're running low in the kitchen zone. Wow, I think that did just soak in entirely in that amount of time. Super absorbent. Uh, oh no, that's, we're getting up plenty of this, good. And this, by the way, is one of the ruggable rugs that uh, I've, the alumni bought for us. Uh, that's been a couple few years now, hasn't it? But uh, DJ finally took advantage of that. And it's quite nice, the ruggable. I think that um, I didn't, I don't know, the, it was a little hard to get it on the Velcro backing without any wrinkles turning up. Uh, but we did figure out how to do it. And also, if you end up getting one, um, what I discovered is if you do just let the wrinkles be, uh, once you start vacuuming it and stuff, you can kind of like work them out, um, like like working a bubble out from underneath a screen protector, you know, same kind of deal, except uh, much bigger. So, uh, but it's nice and we haven't yet put it through the machine, but uh, I think it can because the, the rug part is very uh, light and thin and that's that's what it takes, I think, to get it in the washing machine. Should be interesting anyway when it comes to that. And, uh, maybe I've started that process here. <laughs> we'll see. Uh, this has to go with these things. Um, he does after the Coke spilled over there. That's great. Okay. Um, where was I before I interrupted myself? I was going through this wonderful box from Dorothy A, I believe. And there's a lot more toys in here. Look at that. These are the little rattle mice. Uh, and they're typical of the, the construction of rattle mice, but they are not typical of the colors. These are really bright, and they have cute little ears on them. Those are fantastic for rattle mice. Here we have cool cactus. You can tell they're cool because they have faces. And a Kong Crackles Kitty, the, the Christmas branding. Kong Crackles Kitty Christmas style, um, which is like a little kitty with a crinkly skirt on and a Christmas hat. Oh, the Cat Dancer original. These are great. Every every cat loves these, especially Professor Eddie. Uh, he's a big fan of the Cat Dancer. Still, as far as I know, his very favorite toy. Uh, oh, no, we already saw this guy. I just have repeated him. Okay, there's more. It's like a it's Kong Pull Aparts. Interesting. Uh, and it says two toys in one, and then followed that by saying two in one Spielzug, uh, which I'm certainly mispronouncing, but at least now I know it means toy. So I got that going for me, which is nice. So it's a cat wrapped in like a burrito, except the burrito is a, um, it's got a ribbon and it's like a Christmas packaging, Christmas wrap. He's got a crazy face on him. So once we take that off of there, the two things come in, uh, come apart. You can take the wrap off, or the cat can take the wrap off, I think is the idea. Uh, here we have a, like a giant version of the little rattle mice with a cloth head. Oh, and it has the rattle in it as well. I don't think I've seen that before. Oh, and we've got two of them. You just want to sit right in front of everything. Uh, oh, we have the tea set. Yes, uh, someone sent this set for, for a teaspoon, and there's one of them up in the, uh, in the uh, spa right now that he plays with once in a while. Uh, this is the Love Some Cat Treats. They look like Churu, uh, but the brand is Love Some, and I bet the cats would love some. I see what they did there. Uh, that's very cute. Okay. Uh, ooh, wait, one more, one more. Oh, tongs? They are. They are uh, 
They're labeled as catch cat tongs. Now, I don't know what those words mean put together like that, but of course I'm sure somebody right now is posting the gif of me picking up, uh, I think it was this, it might have been um, Drizzle? One of these kittens? No. No, maybe it was from, uh, maybe the reason I just saw it was because uh, it was from Till's kids that went home yesterday. Anyway, me picking up a cat with a pair of actual kitchen tongs, uh, just because it was silly and it was right there. Uh, I can't read any of the rest of this. Uh, the only This is the only clue I have is catch cat tongs. Maybe it's just called that, though, because they are kitchen tongs and they have cat hands at the end. Uh, I see. And it's like a pink panther, too. It's got the, the panther stripes on the side of the tongs. Can you see that? Uh, and then on the inside, it's got little paws. And it's tiny, and it's perfect, actually. This is going to go right in the tong drawer. And we have... Uh, the drawer is not entirely tongs, but we have a drawer where the, the tongs go. Wow, I'm saying the word tong a lot. That's a weird word. You don't say it that often. Um, uh, so that is, uh, I think, a kitchen utensil that just happens to be cat-shaped, not cat, not to be used to catch a cat like I have used the kitchen once for. But you can see why I was confused for a moment, uh, because I have a history <laughs> with catching cats by the tongs. Uh, so... It was really cute, and it was the tongs are so big. It's just and the kitten was just the right size. It was exactly the same way I would have picked it up with my hand, and it was adorable. So, um, and the I, the thing I think was most impressive is the kitten didn't mind a bit. Uh, so thank you. Okay, this I'm actually going to put over here to go to the kitchen because it's cute, and uh, sometimes we need tiny tongs. And even if we don't need tiny tongs, I bet I will catch DJ using them almost immediately because they're cute. Uh, the rest of this I'm going to put on top of the B&B sister stuff so that it can all get taken together uh, to the basement, I mean. I think. I think that's what I'm going to do. This, the box is pretty full already, though. Oh, okay. Yeah, i got to start oh, start another box. Okay. But uh, thank you so much, Dorothy A. All very cute stuff, um, including the pineapple doilies with little hearts in them. Uh, I don't, I don't know how to put this back though. At least we've got a whole pack of them. So, all right. Thank you for that. Uh, let's see. How do we move forward from here? Let's collect some of this stuff so it doesn't get thrown away with the packaging. Okay. Put it over here. This is also notes that we have to keep here. Good. Okay. Let's not take too much time organizing right now. We have a lot more mailbag to do yet. Yet to come. Let's see. This is taking it to the next level. It's not merely uh, cardboard. It has uh, this this um, twine. Oh man, twine. That's the word I'm looking for to hold it together. And the Kitten Academy logo in two corners. Uh, and the customs declaration that is unsigned. Uh, you don't see that, like, ever. So, uh, that's cool. I feel like I feel like now I'm opening something that was smuggled, right? Uh, let's find out. I'm going to have to cut through the twine, but I think the twine is a really cool touch, and I'm surprised that got here intact. Uh, I also wouldn't expect the way, you know, the boxes work these days, and the way... So much is automated and gets put through machines, like, uh, pretty surprised. Oh, there's a note here. Oh, oh, I see. Card inside this side. Mum forgot to put in the box. Just can't get the staff. Uh, <laughs> that's cute. It's a note from the cat Luna. So card inside this side. Okay. Uh, I see. It's probably tucked down in here right before the tape went on would be my guess, right? Let's find out. Well, oh, yes, indeed, right there on the flap. It's in the flap. So you obviously put this all together and taped it once, and then we're like, oh, the card. Okay, this has to go upstairs. Okay, to read on stream. Great, let's do that. Hi, Teaspoon, where did you come from, buddy? You checking out some new stuff? Uh, I feel like there was something here I was supposed to show you, but I'm not going to find it now. Uh, all right, this says, Season's Greetings, and it's cats and dogs all looking at, uh, I think a clothesline with stockings and things. Oh, I see. This is a kitchen, and they're all sitting at the kitchen counter looking to the food bowl and the Christmas pudding, 
that are on top of it. And then there's also some clothes hung out to dry on. Uh, this may just be, this may be a stove uh, based on the way some of these doors are set in. And so that's why there would be the clothes hung next to it. Um, maybe not though. So uh, inside it says, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Hello, Mr. A and Dr. DJ. My name is Luna, a cute torty. Mum says, we love watching K.A. every single day. I asked Mum if we could send a little package to everyone, and she agreed. Uh, okay, now you're going to describe some of the things that we're going to find in here. So let's let's continue opening it before we keep reading. Oh, okay. I think I can just open it like this, right? Let's find out. <laughs> well... Apparently, I'm incorrect about that. I just, I guess, I guess what I have to do is open the whole end. So let's take this end that we already had uh, started on. All right, that worked. Uh, wow, that's some very, very stripy insides to the box. And you don't expect that to be so bright when it's just on the outside like cardboard. At least I didn't. Oh, wow. Okay, this is uh, nicely packaged in here. And I see it's something like what you were just about to start describing. Ooh, that's heavy. Oh, very heavy. It's a, it's a, look at that, a suitcase with peas on it. Uh, they are peas. It's a pea case, I guess. It says, the little pea in a pod blanket is for the babies in the next class. Oh, please use everything else as you see fit the peanut pod toy is my absolute favorite hope the kids like it too all right well let's see here wow so oh it's really packed in too oh, let me make sure there was nothing else in the box i think it's just packing material and this is it yes okay i just wanted to be sure of that before i move this out of the way this is such a cute way to package things and it's an entirely pea-themed uh, uh, set, so that's uh, that's perfect. We got the peas in a pod on the outside. On the inside, it says Calf Kids London, which must be a brand, but this all seems super fancy. Oh, uh, the the rest of it is also Calf Kids. Interesting. I'm unfamiliar, but it looks fancy. So here. Here we have the peas in a pod toy, I think, and it's wrapped up with this pea blanket. Like you said, I'm really worried with Loganberry around to have something called a pea blanket. Uh, I hope it's waterproof. <laughs> it's super cute, though. I mean, I'm just making a joke about Logan. It's super cute. It's got the same pattern on the outside of this as on this. So they completely match. And then on the inside, it's got like a little soft, real soft terry cloth. Um, that's going to be a great little kitty blanket. You've included, as you said, the peas that are Luna's favorite in a pod. Uh, and it appears to be, uh, it's got obviously a bell, it's got a feather tail, three little peas in a pod. Oh, and they're Velcroed on so you can pull the peas off and lose them under the fridge. And then just have this weird green thing. <laughs> That's really cute though. Uh, they're adorable and they're smiling in there. Really, really cute. There is, uh, this almost looks like a set of peas, but it is the Grinch on a stick. Oh, okay, now you can't see. It's a, it's a Christmas Grinch on a stick. We have now three packs of Webox Licky Licks, uh, turkey and cranberry. Oh, very festive holiday special flavors. And then we have, uh, let's see, chicken and beef flavors. Chicken, beef, and this one's turkey and cranberry. This is uh, the the uh, Grinch on a stick that you probably didn't get to see too clearly with these two rascals in the way. Uh, but wait, there's a little more in here. We have all butter mini shortbread trees. Those look delicious. I, uh, I did eat a little bit of breakfast, but uh, apparently not enough. We have gigantic mint buttons. Yes, the word gigantic is uh, part of it, um, so I'm not just calling them large, but they sound good to me. We have a, oh, Cadbury Mini Snowballs. Yes, yeah, somebody sent one of these earlier, and I'm very ashamed to say that it has already been completely consumed this season, so this will be my second one. And that's 
too many. <laughs> I'm going to eat it anyway because they're awesome. Uh, and then we have a Percy Pig Gummies uh, Christmas Edition. Merry Percy, Miss, it says, made with real fruit juice, of course. Limited edition. Wow. Uh, those are little pig gummies, and those are going to be super yummy, too. Thank you so much for that. Uh, the rest of this box is just too cute. I'm going to have to show this to DJ uh, just the way it is with all the peas in it and uh, the bonus uh, pea-looking Grinch. There we go. Uh, I'm trying to figure out how you fit that Grinch in there the first time. Even though I've taken all the candy out somehow, there's not enough room for me. Okay. Uh, there we go. Put that back down there. That is so cute. All right. I have to show that to DJ. Are you trying to open the waterproof blanket? This guy has been especially destructive lately. He's going through a phase, I guess, uh, his little teenage years. He um, has shredded the uh, blinds that I put in the bedroom when we moved in. Uh, one of them, not all of them, of course. But the one, and the one that he shredded, to be fair, I already ruined by spilling coffee, was spewing coffee. I think I like gagged or something when I, it was a long time ago. I don't remember exactly how it happened, but I, I remember like, like uh, coffee went all over and it got onto these white uh, window shades that we have. And, and then I made it worse because I tried to wipe them off and there was still a little coffee stain. So I tried to bleach them uh, and that didn't come out evenly. Uh, they just look like, they look bad already. So if they were already on my list to replace. It's fine that he wrecked them, but he did wreck them uh, quite deliberately. He's been chewing through all of the litter bags. Like you saw yesterday, uh, DJ brought litter upstairs this morning to put down a new litter box in the bedroom. And uh, she set the litter down on the floor and walked away for 30 seconds. This guy had torn it open. And uh, here he's going with the waterproof blanket too. So good job, Welly. He's so cute, though. He's so cute and snuggly. It's just, you got to forgive him for anything. All right. Uh, thank you so much for all of that. That is wonderful. And you saw I put your note back in the box, too, so I can take it upstairs and show to DJ. Now, this is looking somewhat familiar. I wonder if there's, it just says Kitten Academy on the outside. Oh, there is another note. All right. Aw, welcome to KA. Caledonia. All right, that's Callie's uh, full name, apparently, according to Frozen Tundra Crew. Here are some blankets to help keep you and your babies warm. Thank you for all you do, Mr. A and Dr. DJ, from Frozen Tundra Crew. Perfect. Well, I guess I know which blankets we're going to have to use in their box because uh, two people independently saw the exact same set and thought, I know exactly who needs that. And uh, how, could, how could that be wrong? Uh, once we've got it confirmed now. So, thank you very much. Those are, this, this is, this, I keep thinking this is going to have a note on it, but it doesn't. So, okay. Um, thank you so much for those blankets. They will definitely go in. Uh, I usually wash them before I end up putting them out. And it occurs to me, I was just, just describing, not describing, but mentioning the backlog of laundry that suddenly appeared upstairs. So, it may take a little while for me to get through that. It's a, it's a priority to get the laundry done this weekend. Uh, today, I mean, more, uh, okay. Moving on. Wow, is that almost everything? That's great, what time is it? Oh, okay, I've, it's actually been taking quite a long time. It didn't feel like an hour and a half, did it? Wow. Maybe it did, maybe I'm just the only one that doesn't, uh, okay. This one has a note inside, and it says, I think I know exactly what this is. Don't I? It says, enjoy your gift, doubloons and farthing. May you, okay, well, I'm sorry about that. My bad. May you always have each other for snuggles. However, your new family celebrates the season. Wish it is filled with all a kitten's dreams from Breezy Melody One. Breezy Melody One, thank you. This is some sort of a uh, cool looking marshmallow bed, but I kind of want to look at it because it's not, it's clearly not the regular marshmallow bed. Uh, first off, it's got a, a distinctive pattern on it. And secondly, it's got this uh, scalloped edge. Oh, wow. Where did I come up with the word scallop? That's great. Brain, my brain, it did something. Uh, so let's see here. I just, I want to see what this is like. 
carefully, carefully, carefully. Is there, a, is there a side that is supposed to be opened here? No, it's just just sealed in. All right, well, it's... Un oh, ha-ha. Now it all makes sense. That, that weird line that we saw was the insides. And uh, there they are. So, uh, Teaspoon, who just chased you, buddy? You getting somebody to play with you? Is that all in fun, I hope? That had either be Serenity or Till, because I heard a little hiss in there. Probably Serenity. She's the one more likely to play, try to engage the other kittens like that. Till's kind of like, I already know who will and won't play with me. Uh, so, this looks super comfy. Like, I would like a bed where I could just curl up in like that. Uh, so, I bet, I bet that uh, the kittens are going to love it. You sent this for uh, the ones that went yesterday, though, right? Didn't I saw that somewhere on the note where... I know you did. Uh, I'm just going to have to, how am I going to label it? It'll never go back in the bag, will it? Oh, this is going to be tricky. Let's see. This has got a little bit of a, a solidity to it, too, so it may not stand up entirely, but it might. It might stand up entirely, actually, once we get there. So I don't want to, like, bend it the wrong way and, and wreck it, but I don't think there's any other way I can get this back in there. All right, let's just try. Yeah, buddy, you should go in there. Is it, is it unoccupied? I can't see from here if there's anybody in there, obviously. Oh. What happened, buddy? What was that? You sort of flinched. Is it because I'm making all this noise? There we go. Now I can write doubloons and farthing on the outside. If I, if I have my pen and haven't... Oh, look, look, there it is. Uh, DJ is always called the blooms, the bloom, the blooms, or has maybe not always, but for quite a while. And uh, I realized when I was doing the paperwork, getting the paperwork out yesterday, probably the reason she started calling the blooms, the blooms, or the bloops, uh, but the blooms, uh, because the vet has her that way in the, their papers as D O U B L O O M S, uh, the blooms. Sounds like a, sounds like a Chicagoan talking about uh, the flowers coming up in spring, doesn't it? Have you seen the blooms? <laughs> uh, all right. The Swiss co oh, toffee, and there's a note here that says uh, uh, refrigerate it once for best quality. This is this is one of my worst weaknesses because I. Um, this actually, I've had this exact toffee from the Swiss colony. And almost any like toffee that's covered in chocolate and nuts, and oh, it's so good. I, I've got a real problem. This is a real problem right here. I want to eat all of this. Okay, it's in a tin. It's very pretty, and I know exactly. I I can taste it in my mouth right now. I want to eat the entire tin at once. I'm going to try to keep it just in the shrink wrap as long as I possibly can. So on the outside, it is. Uh, it says it is um, to Miss uh, to A and DJ. Actually, it doesn't say Mister. It just says A and DJ. Okay. Uh, huh. The Swiss Colony, Monroe, Wisconsin. I don't think I realized. Um, I must have known at some point because uh, my dad lived in there for a little while um, in Monroe specifically. I want to say that's the suburb of, of it's been so long, the suburb of Madison, Monroe, right? Yeah. Um, okay. Oh, here it is. A gift from Mary Kitsmas from B and Yurt. Oh, thank you for all that you do. Well, thank you guys. Uh, this is definitely something that I enjoy too much uh, and will enjoy too much along with all this stuff. Uh, wow. Christmas is... It's a good thing I finally got myself working out again. Oh, and yesterday I didn't. Uh, you know, uh, yesterday I was really feeling it. I, I didn't get much sleep the night before. And it just, it just, I, everything went out the window. I ate horrible food. I'm really feeling it today. Uh, having eaten the horrible food, I mean. Just, you make, 
so much easier to make bad decisions uh, when you haven't had enough sleep. Yeah. Uh, I ate too, way too much of that candy and garbage uh, yesterday, but oh, I'll eat it all in due time. Hopefully, hopefully in due time, not by tomorrow. Oh, hey, all right, we got the Amazon Classic here, a box in a box. Uh, that's it. Okay. That's the only thing in there besides these notes. And it says, I love Squishmallows, and I hope Callie and or future mom cats will too, from Smiling Back. So, thank you. Well, I had never heard of Squishmallows before someone sent us... Uh, actually, I think my first exposure was one that someone must have sent us the first year we were here, even back in Illinois, because I remember DJ uh, taking it to her apartment at the, uh, the hospital here. For the, she was in for the first three years, so that was the first time I'd ever seen one, and I like they're made out of this really cool foam material, and it's, they're just nice little stuffed animals. Uh, but then, uh, obviously, someone sent us the pineapple ones that you see upstairs all the time. Uh huh. And this, I was just, we were all just talking about this. Well, you know, I kind of wrecked the one that we have, so you know that this is not going to go to waste. Um, but wow, this is. The, so here's the exact same bed. It is a Squishmallow branded bed, just like I remembered it being, uh, with the little pineapple on it. And it is a pineapple. And just like I was describing, now the bottom does not come out of this. Unusual for a cat bed to not have like a little separate bottom or something. But even more so, you can tell from the way it's not like folding over when I flip it inside out. It's got like a big plastic sheet on the bottom that... Uh, It's not making a real sound because it's still pretty floppy, um, but uh, it's that sheet on there that makes it a little difficult to get through the washing machine without like ending up bent and, and all kind of mixed up. It's probably why they ship it in such a nice box laid out like this instead of all rolled up too. Uh, so, you know, it's got the disadvantage of making it a little bit of a tricky item to decide how to clean, but it has the advantage of making it extremely sturdy and well-shaped and... Uh, you okay, buddy? I know. I, getting in the boxes is your thing, but you got to make sure they're on stable ground first, pal. He always does like to get in the boxes and explore them or sit on them. But uh, here, let's just push all that over a little bit. He wants to try it again. Well, Teaspoon got right in this thing, though, so maybe he wants this for his room. Would that be okay? Maybe? Uh, it's beautiful. And it's, oh, you guys can see it's got the little smiling face. This is so adorable. Um, yeah, and it's it's very sturdy. It's a wonderful thing. I guess the Squishmallow people just make stuff that's, you know, like high quality. Uh, I just, I just wish they'd considered, uh, like how you're supposed to wash it. I mean, I'm sure what they say is like hand wash only. Uh, it's like so, so many cat toys do for good reason. You know, my, the, it's not like the washing machine doesn't eventually destroy all this stuff. But uh, at the same time, uh, well, uh, it's a tired old meme, but ain't nobody got time for that. Uh, <laughs> um, not that I don't do it once in a while, actually. Uh, I, I think that was the last thing, so it doesn't matter if I ramble just a minute, but, uh, you know, Teaspoon has been eating all of his food in the closet, uh, upstairs just because it was convenient for DJ and he eats different food than everybody else. And so he's got to have it separate. Um, but it is a closet. Uh, it's a big walk-in closet, but it is a closet with no litter box in there. Apparently, uh, a couple times, he's decided that it's okay then to, like, uh, pee on a couple of the things that are in the closet. He is not a cat that wants to, to pee outside the litter box ever. Like, it must, it's just that, that strange circumstance where it must have happened. Um, and uh, I bring it up because DJ found that uh, one of my nice, like, photography backpacks was uh, the thing that was peed on. And uh, I, this was all a very long way of saying I just ended up hand washing some things in the tub upstairs, including that bag. Uh, so, I, so it's not like it's something I never do. I just probably need to put this on the list of things that are going to get hand washed once in a great while. Uh, or again, like the old Mitch Hedberg joke, um, this jacket is dry clean only, which means it's dirty. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. 
All right. Uh, it's very cute, though, and I, I'm surprised Teaspoon climbed right into it. I don't know now. He climbed in and he climbed out, so it's a question of, like, is he really going to want to get into it often, or was it just he wanted to check it out and then he had better things to do? I don't know, but I bet if we put it upstairs by uh, the spa where he spends most of his time, we can find the answer to that. Or maybe I give him the one that's already kind of messed up and save this to look good on the stream for the mom cats. What do you think? I don't think Teaspoon's going to know the difference. Well, we'll bring it upstairs and we'll figure it out from there. Smiling Bex, thank you so much. This is, this is a wonderful, generous gift, and uh, I know uh, somebody's going to enjoy it. So, oh, uh, speaking of rambles, I guess there's one last thing I owe you from yesterday if you were watching. Uh, I know folks on Discord got, uh, answered it for people that are on Discord, but if you're not on Discord and you've had it in the back of your mind the whole time, like what was in the boxes uh, that, the, that Amazon just left here and told me to throw away? So the answer is uh, one box was entirely a refurbished, not new, but refurbished. You know, Amazon sells stuff that's refurbished, like my watch here. I got it from Amazon refurbished, and it's, it's all right. But it's got some real interesting wear patterns on it for something they sold as being in excellent condition. Um, you probably can't see them there. but Okay, so uh, <laughs> I'm going to find any way possible to be like, uh, we're just going to keep going uh, and not tell you what was in the boxes. So the first box all by itself was a refurbished um, air fryer, uh, the Ninja brand actually, and the big one with like the two big buckets in it so you can cook two completely different things at once, which is very nice. Uh, too nice for us too, and also probably too big for us to use, so I have to still figure out what to do with that. It's, uh, it's in the garage right now in the box, um, waiting for me to decide. I could, maybe, maybe DJ would want to put it on the counter, but our counter space is already at a premium. Uh, so it seems like the smaller one that we have is probably better for us. Plus, we don't, I, there's never been a circumstance where there's been something in the air fryer here, and I thought, man, I wish I could put something else in the air fryer right now. <laughs> it's, it hasn't happened. We do use the air fryer fairly often. It's great for reheating stuff that the microwave would make gross, like French fries. There is a box of French fries that DJ brought home from a couple days ago in the fridge right now, and I'm, I know I can toss those in the air fryer anytime, and they're going to be awesome. So it's good for that stuff. But um, So that was one box all by itself. The second box had a ton of stuff in it. It was like some kid's Christmas presents, I guess, and thank goodness Amazon promised me that they'd already gotten their stuff, that I'm not like depriving some kid. I, I've tried to give it back anyway, you know, a couple times, and they're like, no, just throw it out if you don't want it. So the second box had, um, the thing I thought was most exciting that I kept is there's a Hungry Hungry Hippos that's uh, got instead of hippos, it's got rainbow unicorns. It's got like the whole thing is rainbow unicorns. It's rainbow colored and stuff. And I thought that's awesome. It's the official hungry, hungry hippos, but it's made up as all rainbow unicorns. So that was in there. Very cool. Uh, then there was a thing that's kind of like a squishmallow, but it's scented uh, and it smelled. It would looked and smelled. Well, it looked like you know, it's like a squishmallow. Like it's a character. It's not the thing but it was s'mores, so it smells like s'mores and it looks like s'mores, uh, kind of. And I, I have no idea what you can do with a scented pillow. You, it feels to me like anything you did with it, you would be sick of real fast. <laughs> I, I guess somebody must really love the smell of s'mores to make that work for them. Uh, there were um, glitter markers in there, which DJ has claimed. Um, a young adult book I couldn't possibly remember the, the name of now, uh, sort of like the Goosebumps series stuff that, that uh, you know, was big when I was younger. Actually, I think Goosebumps came even after I was young enough for it, but I worked in a bookstore at the time. They sold like crazy. Uh, what, what else? There was, um, oh, and then there were a couple, I, there, was, there was some other item that was like a stuffed animal or something, and for some reason I can't uh, think of what the other stuffed animal thing was. And then, um, and then there were some really big ticket items that I was surprised about. There was a brand new uh, in the box pair of Apple uh, AirPods, the second gen ones. I understand that the third gen, I don't do Apple stuff, so I don't even know, but I had to look it up online to be like, what do I do with this? Uh, so it's the second gen, but brand new AirPods um, and uh, a really expensive, really nice, uh, 10 keyless, 60% keyboard. Uh, that might not mean anything to you guys, but a computer keyboard like you type on, you know, 
Um, and then the 60% the is, you know, they make keyboards that aren't the full keyboard anymore. 60% has, uh, it's like the smallest one that you can get with the fewest keys on it, but there's enough to type on. Uh, and it's, it's the ones that a lot of people like now if you're used to it because uh, it takes up less space on the desk, you know, and they look really cute too. I wanted one myself, uh, but I just bought new keyboards and there's nothing for me to do with it. But when I say really nice, not only was it 10 keyless, it's the Razer brand and it was the optical linear switches, which are like, that's nicer than anything I have. But I didn't feel right. Like I couldn't keep either of those things myself as much as I like tech stuff. I'm not in the Apple ecosystem. It would just go to waste. I've got great headphones already. And uh, the keyboard is beautiful, but I don't use a 60% keyboard. And uh, I just bought a new keyboard weeks ago because my old one broke. So I, I just got a nice new keyboard. So um, I didn't necessarily know what to do with all of it, but I... The last time I went to the vet, I threw those things in the back of my car and I thought, I don't know very many people. I really don't know a lot of people in real life. I would love to have sent those to someone on Discord. I know it would never happen. It was just, it would be equivalent to me taking them for myself. So they would go into a closet, never get used, and I would feel terrible. Like, yeah, I just, I want stuff to, to go to somebody that's going to use it. So I threw them in the back of my car when I took the kids to the vet um, most recently, uh, last week. I don't even remember who it was or what for. And uh, I asked, uh, first off, Dr. Dr. K has, uh, like her husband's a tech guy and their kids are kind of technical like that. And I, I suspected very strongly that one of them might be into gaming on the computer rather than gaming on like an Xbox or something. And if he's into computer gaming, that keyboard would be just the thing. Uh, so uh, she did confirm that, and I said, you need to take this and, and give it to your kid because uh, they are going to appreciate this in a way uh, that is awesome. Hopefully they did. I don't know. I haven't heard how that went. Um, and then uh, uh, the AirPods, because they were right there um, I, in, in a moment where it was a busy day. And so there was a moment where the, the one receptionist, I got to just ask her, I'm like, is, is anybody here really into Apple stuff? And, uh, you know, she, she said, yeah, a couple people, you know, not me, um, uh, one of my kids does. And I said, it's going to seem crazy, but uh, just take these, um, you give them to your kid, give them to somebody else here. Just, just make sure they go to somebody for me. So that's, that's where those things went. And that's, I think, the best I could have done. Because, like I said, I really don't know that many people in person. And anything that would require me to, like, mail them out was it's never, it's, it'll happen eventually, but not in any reasonable time frames. So I feel much better. I feel, I feel great about having done that. I feel like that's uh, exactly how those things should have been uh, handled. So yeah, there we go. Um, yeah, the only reason I didn't bring the air fryer with it was in another box and I didn't think of it. And maybe I could have given that to somebody there too, but it's a little weird. Uh, and I think I know what to do with that too. Um, I, I imagine that our friends, the scooters, uh, have a special way that they can get rid of that for us. Uh, I haven't talked to them about that yet. They're probably hearing that right now. But uh, I think um, if, they, if, they, if there's not someone that's in their family that can use it, which might be a possibility, uh, I think that they know an awful lot of people who could really use it that, uh, you know, that aren't in their family. So um, it could go to somebody who really needs something like that. And I think that would be nice too. It's a perfect item for like, if, if like when I was a kid, the college dorms, you would have a hot plate and you would cook on the hot plate when you needed to, you know, like a little electric thing. And that's, and everybody had one because otherwise you, you couldn't heat up anything or, or maybe a microwave and a hot plate, you know, uh, and, and now it's gotta be like the air fryer. That is the, it seems to me like that would be like the perfect thing if you had to like cook in your dorm and uh, there was no other way to do it or just reheat some stuff. Okay. Well, hey, look, that was mailbag. Uh, I'm still just sitting here talking, but I'm going to put the mic away. I'm going to put this stuff away. And uh, I have so much still to do this weekend. So this thing is really cute and silly and the cats keep getting into it. So I guess I won't be able to put it away right away. Is that sprout again? It, that looks like a sprout face to me and not a uh, um, drizzle. Drizzle's over there in her hammock also. I guess they've got their spots. Okay, uh, thanks everybody for everything. I really appreciate it. The cats really appreciate it.
things. Um, and they, they, they technically do, but they, thank goodness, usually don't do that because they don't have any way of knowing if there's going to be like something embarrassing that we wouldn't want to be heard at that microphone. They do get a preview for the cameras when they switch those, they know what's up. But with the mic, they usually don't switch it because they don't want to accidentally get something on that they shouldn't have. And that's good. And that's why I mentioned specifically that it would be okay for them to do that if, if, if the sound went out during mailbag. Uh, otherwise, uh, you know, if it was a camera thing, I know they would do the best they could just already, but not with the sound. And I, I gotta say, I. I still have an absolute intention to make that available to everybody, but it's been like super buggy lately. Like, I think there may just be some libraries that are out of date, but it has been incredibly buggy recently. And I just got to find time to like sit down and fix it, uh, which included like re-architecting part of it. And, uh, oh man, it just keeps getting put off. I do, I do still have all of the intention of making that something that everybody on the discord can participate in one way or another as well. In due time. Hey, bud. What are you saying? Um, saying I gotta remember to plug in the mic this time? I wonder if Serenity will go back in her room for me. This says to put in the fridge. Oh man. I almost wonder if I could hide it in the back of the fridge and forget about it. Then it'd be a real cool surprise someday. <laughs> stuff that's going upstairs right now. It's 
I don't think DJ's seen the monster bed yet.
thinking about dumping all of this into another box, but I'm also thinking about just trying to hold it while I carry it all the way downstairs. <laughs> Why would I do things the right way when I can have an adventure? <clears throat> What you think, Logan? Did you hear there was a pea blanket? I'm gonna. DJ can see it, but uh, I'll, if, if she'll let me, I'll bring it back down later so that so everybody can watch what Cat's saying. It's like the, the holding thing's equivalent of cutting down the tree, tree branch that you're on. You're cutting off that tab I was holding this thing by. I brought down another pot to make up for the fact that that one's going to stay upstairs for a minute or two.
Oh no, my neck, Logan, again. Same rug, same coat. Same problem. Same problem. Same problem. Same problem. Same problem. Maybe I just shouldn't be allowed to have liquids around. I'm doing more damage than Logan today. Now it's like a Ford Prefix towel that just suck on that side if you want some caffeine. I know somebody just heard me say that and they're wondering why I'm talking about cars that way. Just noticing those the chirping owl is from the same set as the canvas cat toy set. The one that I showed you with the little box and the owl in it. Uh, the same same people. Uh, so that's cool. Okay. Well, that's about it for mailbag. I am going to uh, in the archive here. Thank you again to everybody. It's just spectacular and uh, really great stuff for the kittens today. And some great stuff for me, I guess. All right, how do I turn this off? I keep going to the wrong spots. <laughs> oh, man. All right. One more time.